Like even if you're in a relationship, if a person says no, then you should. Is that it? Yes, because in reality, no, it's still a sentence. Or you know, even if you're in a relationship, it's like, well, we're in a relationship, we can still be with them. If the person don't feel like it at the end of the day, yeah. no, it's just that. That's right. You're right. Thank you for that. What you what you gonna say, sis? When you mentioned the instance of like sexual abuse and like, familial situations, and you're talking about oh, oh, your shorts are so short, that's why it happened. Yeah. I feel like that really ties into the hypersexualization of black bodies. Yeah. So it's a lot of um, like, especially with young black girls, our bodies are. So it's like historical. Our bodies are sexualized from the moment they start developing. So yeah. you're blamed for how you're built and your genes. And it's less of, oh, let me not invite this family member who's predatory and you cover up because you're enticing. That's right, that's right, because you're a little fast ass and you can't have them shorts on that short top on. Because you see my man looking at you. And some of the victims have been pregnant by the predators, had children by the predators, Right now, and child on child sexual abuse happens too. When that oldest child is encouraging that young child to touch each other in spaces and places they don't have no business doing. That's not exploring each other's body parts. That's not, that's not that. It could be that that child is no person and another child for sex. And young men, y'all don't even get a platform to admit being sexually abused. The dinner table will tell y'all, shut up. You ain't no home. Grow up. Get over. And at the same breath, the predator is still there at your dinner table. You still gotta eat with the person that had funded you. Young men don't even get no space to say they sexually abused. You instantly can't go with nobody and say you were sexually abused. Next slide. 